Good morning. I am the CEO of the Adron Hedrick Fidel, and we are reporting from the conference Electronics and Vehicles here in Gothenburg. We are very happy that for the first time officially present a product developed with LJ Innotech for sale. LJ Innotech is one of the world's biggest manufacturers of camera modules and the Diadrome's contribution in this setting is the adaption to the automotive requirements. The camera is transferring the image via an LVDS link and on the same physical wire, we have the ability to control the camera via a UDS layer where we can perform diagnostics of the download and, of course, verification of the entire layer. And solutions like this will become increasingly important as we go into a situation where there will be more and more cameras and related sensors on modern vehicles. Uh, but it was many development challenges doing this. Uh, and my project manager here, Jonas Kelsen, uh, can tell you a few words about our development and verification environment that, that we use for this project. Yes, and uh, even though that uh, unit is small, it's a uh, lot of software that needs verification. Uh, hence, we have uh, developed a test and uh, verification environment to run automated test cases. Uh, for this uh, project, we have uh, adapted it to run for UDS on LVDs, uh, and we have about 150 automated test cases and it takes about six hours to run. And this is most uh, commonly performed during nighttime. When you're in a situation where you are developing a safety critical system like this, it is, it is essential that the development methods and the verification can be tracked during the development project so that we can control the software quality. It was essential and very important for the customer and for us we can always see and assess the development progress and where we were and see that we met all the requirements in time. Yeah. And now we are very excited about the new Maxim chipset technology for the next generation of LVDS video transfer. Well, maybe the, uh, well, maybe the, uh, all of the bandwidth uh, problems that we have experienced for years in the automotive sector. They may actually be gone. We'll see what happens with that. Thank you very much.